What's good YouTube back again with another video and in today's video I'm gonna do what's in my basketball bag now to start off I got this basketball bag off of Amazon this may have been about 30 bucks but what I liked about the basketball bag is that it had little compartments so little slots you can kind of throw your sneakers in yes I bring three different sneakers to the court right now I'm running with the Nike GT jumps and two pairs of Jordan 36s now I spoke about this before these are my absolute favorite to play in and the difference between these two there's a lot more cushion and padding in this one but the lightness of the Jordan 36 is definitely superior to the Nike GT jumps so because of that I rather play in these these are a lot more comfortable to move around in these you notice automatically that you're wearing a heavier sneaker so really it's just a preference that i like a lighter sneaker and the fact that it has just as much cushion it doesn't have as much but it has just as much in a lot of ways so both of them have zoom air strobo units which are crazy and both of them have additional four foot zoom units and this one does have a lot more cushioning on the heel but Again, the Jordan 36 is my favorite to play in at the moment. So I have two pairs of those, right? Now, let's get to the accessories. Some of the things that I bring in my bag other than that, right? So again, it's a little humid out here. If you see me sweating or wiping myself off, you know why, right? So I'm going to try to knock out a couple of videos so I'm not looking crazy down here. But first thing I bring with me and that I'm going to show you is this electrolyte sugarless powder made by gatorade of course electrolytes are super important and you lose electrolytes as you sweat and unfortunately i play in a gym with no air conditioning no ventilation so it's super humid it's been a 90 degree heat wave in new york city so the gym is not the most fun to play in right now it's like a humid bowl of soup man it's just disgusting to play in and because of that we're losing a lot of water so I try to replenish my electrolytes if I can. As far as taste, this came in a whole pack. So we have a raspberry lemonade here. We have a grape, kiwi, like a bunch of different flavors. I'm not really into sugary drinks. I don't actually drink juice. Only thing I drink is water. But it's just one of those things that I wanted to bring because again, electrolytes are important to replenish. And speaking of electrolytes, I also have this that I bring. Now this is a sodium tablet. And if you guys don't know, sodium is an electrolyte. If you guys take a look, in the back of your Gatorade, and you're gonna see a shit ton of sodium because they're trying to replenish your sodium slash electrolytes. So I bring a sodium tablet. I don't recommend this for every or anybody because depending on your body, you may take a sodium tablet. It could possibly raise your high blood pressure and we don't want something like that happening, especially while playing sports. So of course, proceed with caution if you're going to take these know your body know yourself check with your doctor first all of these things come into play but if you see it here it naturally supports muscle cramps and fatigue so as you can see it says electrolyte replacement sodium is probably the most important electrolyte in your body and of course we lose a ton of it when we sweat so i bring one of these as well and another important electrolyte is potassium so if you're getting plenty of potassium in your diet go for it because potassium is a huge major electrolyte micronutrient as well and these all help fire up the muscles they're super important to muscles in general so definitely want to rock with the sodium right now we get to some accessories so i do bring a pump with me just in case we need to put some air in the bowl so i always bring a pump with me i bring some tissues in case i have to blow my nose because it's pretty disgusting to see people blow their nose on their shirt. It's fucking gross. So for cleansiness, I definitely do that. I don't bring a deodorant, but that's something that I recommend. In case you forget, like I always remember to put deodorant on in the morning. It's the worst to play with somebody who's musty. You don't even want to play defense on them. Like, like, bro, you got the shot. You stink. I know it's a bunch of dudes out there, but at the end of the day, you still want to be pretty clean. Hold on, I need to wipe off real quick. Pause. So yeah, you want to be pretty clean and have your hygiene on point because ain't nothing worse than playing with somebody who stinks like shit. All right, so that is that. 
Now I got a couple of accessories that I bought. I actually bought these from Nike. This is a right knee sleeve or your left knee sleeve. It doesn't really matter. But I've always wanted some sort of protection on the knees, something to kind of keep my knee nice and tight. I'm super lucky, even with the size that I am, that I don't have any knee problems at all. So knock on wood for that. But now I started to add some of these knee sleeves. Hopefully they could help keep and preserve my knees as much as possible, especially if I bang knees with somebody. This one actually has a little bit of padding on it. So that's an accessory as well. And then I have two knee pads slash shin pads. So they kind of go down to your shin. If you put them on here, you know, kind of protect this whole area. So I wore these this weekend. They were sliding down a little bit. So I may have to figure out something in which I can keep them more intact. But other than that, again, this is more protection. You know, people kicking your knees or jumping or whatever. So just more added protection to my legs. And then I have these safety slash uh, sport goggles. They look like safety goggles. And because I'm a utility worker, I actually have uh, utility safety goggles that look just like this. My safety goggles actually protect from 100 mile per hour debris. So that's how rigid those are. These, of course, not that rigid, but it's better than wearing my regular glasses, which I have been wearing. And I've been taking a risk in doing so because God forbid, you know, you get hit on a foul or something and all it takes is somebody to step on them. Now I have basketball goggles. It looks a little strange and also they play a little weird. I guess the way they're created or the way they're done, you never get the same vision that you do on your regular goggles or regular glasses. So I do have to get used to wearing them as far as playing ball. But again, I'll be protected. These are plastic. This is a rubberized arm. So because of that, you know, I don't have to worry about them breaking like I do my regular glasses. So that's one thing that I personally take and I would recommend if anybody wears glasses to pick up one of these, right? And then we have the other cool shit. So if you guys don't know, and I'm sure you guys can notice already, I sweat pretty crazy, right? So with that being the case, I decided to buy these nike shooting sleeves so you see nba players wear this all the time and i will say that these definitely work i'll put them on real quick for you guys and they actually don't fit too bad considering that my arms are pretty big for the most part but kind of wear this like this and then the cool part about it is that whatever sweat that you have it's not getting all over the ball and doesn't make the ball super slippery so this is pretty cool and then it also kind of keeps you cool at the same time so it kind of absorbs the sweat keeps you a little cool shooting sleeves i definitely recommend if you're a heavy sweater uh, this is the first time i've actually played with them and this was actually not so bad i actually enjoyed playing in them and that is that right then i got two calf sleeves unfortunately i still pulled my calf it could be a lot of things but i pulled my calf this saturday when i was playing i was rocking these i think also us playing in a super humid conditions probably doesn't help so we'll see i'm gonna definitely still wear these these fit really nice they're also very comfortable once you put them on you almost feel like you don't even have them on so these are pretty dope right and then we have a wristband and i typically don't rock wristbands but i decided to wear them because sometimes i'll take off my glasses and i'll just wipe my face down and i'll put my glasses back on and I'll resume playing. So I kind of use this for that. And that's pretty much it. And then as far as the socks are concerned, hold on one second, let me show you the socks. So as far as socks are concerned, I rock pretty much elite socks. So these are the NBA elite socks, pretty cool, pretty dope. And they basically compress your feet as well. They also have padding on the bottom portion of the foot. And then they have a ribbed middle section to kind of keep your foot nice and snug. So these I've been playing in for quite some time. And to me, these are pretty dope. They actually keep your foot pretty tight inside that sneaker. A regular pair of Jordan shorts or Nike shorts. I'm typically rocking Jordan and Nike because I'm a fanboy of Jordan and Nike. So you'll see me most of the time in Jordan and Nike. And then Nike Pro is something that I highly recommend for you guys. It's actually pretty cheap. It's on the cheap end of things. But it's a great, great shirt to play ball in. It's a great shirt to hang out in as well. Like if you're just doing errands, if you're hanging out, taking a kid somewhere because they're super cool, super lightweight. 
especially in the summertime. So I highly recommend these. They also dry up pretty quickly. They have that dry fit material. So I would wear something obviously like this. And then compression shorts. I wear compression shorts every time I play. So these are, again, Nike Pro compression shorts. I have a bunch of these. I probably have about six or seven at the moment. And then they're breathable in certain areas. So in this particular compression short, it's actually breathable by your nutsack. So we all know our nuts carry a lot of heat. So we gotta make sure that the nuts are breathable. But in other compression shorts, they actually have breathable panels on the side or breathable panels on the back. So you do get a bunch of breathable panels on the Nike compression shorts. And I'll rock something like this. So that'll pretty much be my get up. And then you guys seen the kicks, you guys seen everything that I rock. Again, I love the Nike shooting sleeve. And even now I'm sweating on one side, but on this side, you can see the sweat here, but instead of dripping onto my entire forearm, it actually kind of holds the sweat in and keeps it cool. So the shooting sleeves, I definitely give A plus rating. They're definitely dope. And that's pretty much it, man. So that is what I rock for basketball. Now let me wipe off again because it's again, humid as hell. So if you guys don't know, we're in like a five day heat wave of 90 degrees or more. And it's super hot out here, man. So it is what it is. The kids are in the back in the pool playing with the water. And I'm over here shooting videos for you guys. So that is it. This is my basketball gear. This is what is in my basketball bag at the moment. I also do carry a foam roller. I didn't bring it this weekend. I should have, but I do carry a foam roller as well. And the foam roller is just to keep me nice and loose, keep the back nice and loose, etc. This is what's in my basketball bag. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On that note, we out. Peace.